Alright, what's up? From Charm City 187, yo. The Ravens got embarrassed by the Browns, to say the least. Yo, they look absolutely fucking pathetic. Um, before I actually go into this, um, about two weeks ago, I read an article about the Ravens taking a hundred and thirty thousand dollars from them fucking douchebags in Washington DC to promote Obamacare. With how pathetic the Ravens are doing right now, you know, if I see or hear a commercial on ninety eight rock or one oh five seven the fan or during the game of any of them promoting that bullshit Yo, I will never watch another Ravens game. I will never buy another jersey or any shirts or anything from them. If they're going to take $130,000 from them dickheads in D.C., I won't give them another cent. And with that being said, how bad does that show that our coaching is after coming off a bye and coming out and playing that horribly offensively? John Harbaugh has to be, like, fucking clueless. What did we change from last year to this year in the run game to make it to where Ray Rice is averaging, like, barely a yard a carry? Today, he had 11 carries for 17 yards. There's one thing that has changed. It's Juan Castillo and his fucking weak-ass garbage zone running scheme. And you would have thought that going into the bye... And struggling as bad as we have been running the ball, you would have thought that uh, Harbaugh would have said, "All right, Castillo, remove your head from your ass and change the uh, running scheme." It's obvious the zone block scheme is not working, but I think Harbaugh has his own head so far up his own ass that he he can't see it. And I, I've been saying it since the beginning of the season. Juan Castillo is our new Cam Cameron. He's John Harbaugh's butt buddy, and Harbaugh won't say anything to him or tell him to fix shit because he's his friend. And it'll probably be the end of next year before we're even able to run the ball again. I mean, it's already bad enough Ray Rice is hurt, and he fucking sucks. He's slow as shit. 11 carries for 17 yards. That, that right there shows you. He, he's either hurt or he just sucks, and, he, and he's affecting the team. Flacco was sacked five times today. Three of them were because Ray Rice missed the fucking block. And he, he's not even trying to block people. He's just diving on the ground, and the dude's just stepping right over him. Not even trying to block him. He's just diving, and they're, they're just walking right over top of him. Flacco, 24 of 41 for 250 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. So for the year, I believe he has nine TDs and nine interceptions with about like a 52% completion rating. Does that sound like a $120 million quarterback to you? Because it, it sure as fuck don't sound like one to me. If you're going to be making $120 million, you better be like at like 68% completion rating and at least double, if not triple, touchdown to interception ratio. And once again, yo, today they showed him a hundred times during the game, and only one time did I see him looking in his little blue playbook. Every other time he was sitting there like, duh. Not, not talking to anybody, nothing, just looking, just sitting there looking up like, duh, duh, duh. not doing anything on the sideline. What? <laughs> this, this is our uh, possessions throughout the game. Punt, field goal. Punt, 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 interception. And, and, and it, it figures that as soon as our defense gets a turnover, Flacco throws the ball right back to the other team. We should have had, he, he should have had a touchdown pass to Jacoby Jones on that play, but he threw a fucking rainbow and underthrew it, and Jones had to stop and come back 10 yards. And then the, 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 the pass to Torrey Smith for like 60 some yards. Torrey Smith had to stop and wait for the ball to get to him. He underthrew both of them. If he would have threw the ball right both of them times, that would have been two more touchdowns. But he underthrew them. I don't know if the $120 million is going to his head or the, all the fucking uh, 
all the fucking uh, commercials and shit he's doing is going to his head. But something's going to his head and he's playing like shit. And <laughs> you think he doesn't have any weapons right now? Wait until like wait wait like two years from now when he's taking twenty plus million from the cap. He's not gonna have anybody to throw the fucking ball to. That's why I said in the off season, you know, signing him that much money and backloading it like that, we're fucked for like the next four years. We're screwed until he restructures his contract. But yeah, anyways, on to our possessions. Punt, field goal, punt, 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 punt. Interception, touchdown, punt, 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 touchdown, punt, end the game. And on the last play of the game, that was Ray Rice being selfish. There's seven seconds left. He catches the pass about with five seconds left outside of the hash mark. All he has to do is run in a diagonal and get out of bounds. He would have got out of bounds at like the 47-yard line with two seconds left. We would have had Flacco could have maybe thrown one to the end zone. What does Ray Rice do? He, he runs, he runs uh, straight up, gets an extra 10 yards, and just dives on the ground. Game over. Being selfish. Probably trying to pad his stats because he knew he only had 17 scrimmage yards. <sighs> Offensively, we are fucking pathetic. Ed Dixon. <laughs> if I were hardball, I'd say, Ed, you can't catch the ball with two hands. What the fuck makes it think you make you think you're gonna be able to catch the ball with one hand? I mean, it was a perfect pass. It was third down. Ed Dixon running across the field. All he had to do was go like this and catch the ball. What does he do? Goes like that. The ball bounces off his hand, drops it. Punt. All he had to do was use two hands, catch the ball. He's not good enough to use one hand. Tannen Doss fumbling a punt. Tannen Doss fumbling that punt really cost us the game, other than Flacco not being able to complete a pass, taking him. Once again, it took him until the last drive of the first quarter to target Torrey Smith, and then he didn't target him the rest of the game. Um, yeah. It's third and seven. Why the fuck is Tannen Dawes running a four yard route? That makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. You run to the first down, and then you don't run three yards short of the first down, catch the ball, and run out of bounds. It's fucking stupid. It's stupid shit of why we're losing these games. And I can already see the Joe Flacco lights on uh, or the Ravens forum saying, well, well, the offense was waiting for the defense to get a stop. Well, I've been telling you all this since the beginning of the year. When your offense goes punt, 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 field goal, punt, 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 interception, your defense is on the field nonstop. I mean, our possessions, we had a 50-second possession, a four-minute possession when we got the field goal, a 50-second possession, a minute and 30 second, a minute and 15 second, two minutes and 50 seconds. All the rest of the time, our defense was on the field. And, and the same thing happened in the Green Bay game and the Steelers game. The offense couldn't do a damn thing the whole, for three quarters. And in the fourth quarter, when the defense needed to make a stop and get off the field so the offense could go score a touchdown, they couldn't make the stop because they're fucking gassed. They're on the field way too long because the offense can't get first downs. <sighs> All right, it's first down, first and ten. Throw like a four-yard pass, second and six. And we did this almost every time. And I could tell you when we were running the ball because we did that pistol bullshit. And every time it was second and six, we'd run the ball. It would be third and ten or third and twelve. <laughs> I mean, shit, I'm sitting at home in the, on a couch watching the game, and I'm like, all right, we're going to run the ball. And this is like 15 seconds before the play starts. Obviously, they didn't know you're going to run the ball when you're running it from pistol every time. Just doesn't make any sense. We're not using play action. We're not. I mean, yes, I know he can't. Ray Rice can't run the ball. Neither can Bernard Pierce. But still, I mean, I'd much rather see Flacco using play action, rolling out and throwing, than standing in pistol and handing the ball to Ray Rice, getting hit four or five yards in the backfield. It's fucking pathetic.
absolutely pathetic. But yeah, horrible coaching. We, uh, the Ravens' offense has gotten progressively worse every week. I'm, I'm so sick and tired of hear ball, hearing Harbaugh and Flacco and Ray Rice saying, we're just getting better every week. They're not getting better. They're getting fucking worse. Every week they get worse offensively. I mean, shit, the defense, again, didn't give up 300 yards, but yet 250-some passing, and uh, I think Willis he was the high rusher with 36 yards rushing. The defense is doing their fucking job. It's just the person that's getting paid the most money isn't doing a damn thing. And yeah, Harbaugh getting rid of everybody who had a backbone and would buck a little bit when he'd say shit that was wrong, is now gone. I, I can't begin to say how much Pollard would help this secondary out right now. Or Ed Reed. <laughs> Ed Reed could play better when he's 80 than Michael Huff played the time he was here. We just cut him, but I, I cannot believe we got rid of Ed Reed from Michael Huff. And, and Ed had to go get some money. He's been playing for the Ravens for all them years for basically nothing. He had to get a payday sometime. And he took it. And I don't blame him for it. And Quan Bolden. Anybody who ever spoke up when Harbaugh was wrong is gone. And Harbaugh has his, has his little army of zombies. And they're following him. And they're losing. And that's it. So, alright, I'm done. Peace.